Let's bring in Georgia Congressman Austin Scott right now. He's a member of the House Armed Services, Intelligence, and Agricultural Committees. Congressman, it's good to see you. Thanks very much. Where do you stand on all of this? You've got more evidence coming out from the House Oversight Committee, your colleagues investigating Joe Biden. At, at the same time, you've got indictments and attacks on Donald Trump, uh, a third indictment. We're expecting a fourth indictment. And now we get this, that the government was pressing uh, Twitter to hand over any data on Donald Trump that they could. Yeah, 100% about the next election. Uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Donald Trump got uh, 74 million votes for reelect last cycle. That's the number that the Democrats uh, know they can't beat. He got about 33 million in swing states. And so their only hope to win uh, the next election is to create turmoil in the Republican Party. So if they can, if they can continue to bring all of these charges against Donald Trump, uh, Washington, probably today in Georgia, then you got Florida and New York. If they can get him convicted on any felony, uh, whether it be obstruction of justice or, you, you know, not following a court order not to defend himself publicly, then they can keep him off the ballot and create turmoil in, in the next, in the next uh, presidential election cycle. And this is 100 percent political. Uh, if it wasn't political, the Justice Department, you know, they say nobody's above the law. Well, tell us what you did on Hillary Clinton's email service. You know, mm -hmm. tell, tell us what you're doing on Joe Biden and his business dealings. Right. They, they, have, uh, they have done nothing on any of those. That This Democratic establishment has the ability to pull a lever at the Justice Department and make things happen. And if you don't believe it, look what they did to Henry Cuellar right before the Democratic primary. This is one of their own Democrats. He's pro-life, so they wanted to take him out. And right before his primary, the Justice Department releases information on him. Wow. I saw that. And I was wondering why they would do that at that moment. And you're right. It makes perfect sense. But your colleagues in the House Oversight Committee have released new Biden family bank records. These records show that the Biden family took in at least $20 million from countries such as Russia, Kazakhstan, and Ukraine. This is on top of the, the millions that we know that was taken in from China. The memo shows just one day after the Kazakhstani businessman sent Hunter Biden Biden more than $142,000. Hunter bought a Porsche for the exact same price, uh, suggesting that the gift was the Porsche. A Russian oligarch's three and a half million dollar payment to Hunter Biden Devin Archer Shell Company also is being talked about. That was tracked in the memo. Then Vice President Joe Biden had dinner with both the Kazakhstani businessman and the Russian oligarch, Elena Baturina, in 2014 and 2015, Congressman. Uh, what were the Bidens selling exactly? Why are they accepting all of this money? Well, it, it certainly wasn't uh, a level of intellectual integrity or, or, or personal intelligence that they had, so it had to be something else. And, and the interesting thing about this, Maria, is, is why is no other news channel other than Fox News covering this? You won't see this on CNN. You won't see it on MSNBC. You won't see it on any other news source. Yet if it had been, uh, what if it had been Don Jr.? Goodness gracious, the Justice Department would be all over this. So would, so would every other news source uh, outside, outside of Fox News. And so... Uh, it, it, it's, it, it defies logic that that much money can be transferred to one family uh, who is now in the White House, who was, who was the vice president of the United States, and, and there not be uh, something that the Biden family is actually selling uh, these other countries. Yeah. And so if, if the Justice Department wants to stop wasting the time of the American citizens, they need to go out there and find out, you know, exactly what it was that, that Joe and Hunter and, and candidly President Biden's brother uh, were selling for all of this money. This yeah. is millions and millions and millions of dollars. This is mega million type money. Unbelievable. Uh, that, well, that these other countries gave to the Bidens. I, I know that, uh, Tiana, jump in here because they set up these 20 shell companies while Joe was vice president, according to House oversight officials. And it's curious because we know that some of these were done in the name of the grandchildren who were, you know, not even graduated college yet. But also, at what point is the how our House Republicans going to start issuing subpoenas for more IRS filings? We want to see these tax returns. We want to see these shell companies, the data. And, you know, the rumor is right now that Hunter Biden is living in the White House. So it's not exactly difficult to send yeah. a subpoena to him. So, 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 so we as Republicans, we've got to be smart about how we do things. You know, Jim and Jamie, uh, you, you know, they, they have the ability to do this. They have the intelligence to do this. They have the staff to do this. Jason on the uh, Ways and Means Committee, he has the intelligence and he has the staff to do this. We as Republicans have got to allow uh, Jim and Jamie and Jason to carry forward with their investigations. Okay. And, and candidly, 
you know, a little criticism from my party. We need to stop having hearings on UFOs and keep the focus on on the things that matter most. And right now, it's making sure that the that the, that the country's secrets and, and access to the country's leadership is not being sold to our adversaries. Uh, based on what you know today, are you on board with an impeachment inquiry? A absolutely, I am on board with the inquiry. I will tell you. I do not think Donald Trump should have been impeached. I think we as Republicans need to respect the Constitution, even though the Democrats don't want to. And I think that there would need to be hearings, and we would need to prove, uh, we, we need to prove uh, these things to be true. And if these things are true, and, and they certainly appear to be, there seems to be enough documentation, yeah. then the impeachment should move forward. So, so the inquiry, absolutely. Do I think that an impeachment resolution should be put on the floor without having the, the hearings and the due process? I do not believe and doing that without due process. And the fact that the Democrats abuse the Constitution doesn't mean that we as Republicans should follow suit. Yeah, I mean, Lee Zeldin, you were there for so long uh, in the House of Representatives. I mean, there's apparently a number of Republicans who are just not there yet with an impeachment inquiry. What, is an, what does an inquiry get you? It gives you an opportunity with a laser-like focus to get documents, to bring people in, uh, to testify in front of the committee. And you don't think they'll get stonewalled, as they do so often? There, There is so much further to keep digging, but as we pointed out earlier in the show, there's already been all this evidence that's been collected that if you connect the dots already it's clear as day that at hunter and other bidens are selling access to joe biden joe biden is the business yeah uh, and yeah. and joe biden is involved in it it's already now documented in many different ways and by the way if this was donald trump uh, and, and and he was in the, he was the president and Donald Trump Jr. was the one doing it. Yeah. I'm sure they would be legislating right now, so this isn't just about oversight. It would also be with legislation coming out. And I'll tell you what, too, as, as members of Congress right now, they should be infuriated that every single time they take action one day, that either later that day or the next day, you have the Department of Justice doing something else from the PR front, but with the levers of power, weaponizing power, going after Donald Trump with the deflections. This is a political operation mm. that has been ingrained here in this effort and uh and I think members of Congress should be pissed off about that, too. Congressman, what about that? Are you upset? I mean, you know, I mean, it, it's sad to think oh, he, that the Department of Justice is corrupt. Is that what we're talking about here? Yeah, he, uh, one, Lee's absolutely right. He's been there with us. He, he's, he's seen the frustration that we have. Uh, the, the, the Department of Justice, clearly the Democratic Party has the ability to pull the levers and make something happen at the, at the Department of Justice. And, and if you take Trump out of this, go and look at what they did to Henry Cuellar, one of their own, the last pro-life Democrat in the House of Representatives when the Democratic Party wanted to get rid of him. Look what they did to him right before his primary. Look what they did to, to my former Senator David Perdue with a release right before his election. Wow. I mean, this is not just with regard to Donald Trump. Such this dirty is the tricks. Democratic Party being able to pull levers at the Justice Department and make things come out that are damaging to people that they want to take out of office. So, Maria, the, the inquiry, the one thing the inquiry does is if it is happening and we are handling that inquiry in a professional manner, then CNN and the other news stations do not have the ability to ignore it. They've actually got to report on it but well, right now, they just continue to ignore uh, all of the money that has flowed into the Biden family from uh, foreign sources, uh, and, and the American the American public needs to know it. Really stunning stuff, Congressman. Thank you. We'll be